Hey everyone. So today is going to be a, a probably short video. It's going to be something a little different. Um, it's kind of a one-time thing, really. But I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, just, just a little. I don't. I don't. It's not really a story time, is it? Uh, whatever. It's, we're just. We're gonna. I'm gonna tell you something. We're gonna talk about it. That's that, I guess. So before we get into that, I'm in such a like good mood. I'm sorry. I feel like I'm being you know I'm in a good mood um even though so many things have been going on lately like with family and life and and heartbreaking situations have been going on like you ever feel like things are just falling into place like I don't know I, it's a it's a good day it's a sunny day Things have fell into place. I'm happy. My daughter's happy. And so that's where I'm at. I don't know why I needed it. Oh yeah, because I'm acting weird. <laughs> Alright, before we get into it, disclaimer. I do cuss in my videos. Um, if you have kids around, just watch something else and come back later. I would love to have you here, most definitely. But I'm not kid friendly at all. So, there's that. Um... I'm getting better at this. I'm working on it. We're getting, we're getting better, right? I feel it. Like, yeah. Doing good. So today, this is why I say it's a one-time thing. It's somewhat like a story time slash just me telling you something that happened recently that I found interesting. Um, I don't know. I don't know what, how this is going to go. I don't know how y'all are going to take it, but I mean, I just, I got to share, okay? I just got to share, and I'm going to be real, real, so this, before we get into that, <laughs> let me add an extra disclaimer. I am in no way here to just bash anyone. I'm not here to just make fun of anyone. Am I going to make a little fun? Yes, yes, I am, and I'll explain why, but I'm not a horrible person. I'm not here to trash somebody, so just, you know, this video is meant to be lighthearted and, and just talk about the situation that happened. A situation. Something that happened. There we I don't know. Alright, let's just let's just do it, okay? So recently, very recently, like this past week, someone from my hometown who I know personally um was on the TV show Naked and Afraid. Now I love 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 naked and afraid like such an awesome show i could never do it so let's start with that i could never i i don't like to be cold <laughs> like at all um so that would be a reason i couldn't make it i don't like snakes and and there's always snakes on the show and it's that i'm terrified so another reason um i'd like to think if i was starving that i'd be able to like you know get her done but i don't know so there's that I mean, many, many reasons why I, myself, wouldn't make it. So, while I'm telling you this, and we're, we're well, maybe we ain't laughing. I think y'all laugh with me. While we're laughing and having a good time, keep in mind, I am in no way, shape, or form downing this person at all. She's got to be a bad bitch to even try. But there's some things about it that's kind of funny. So, let's, so I've known this person most of my life, like since early childhood. She was my cousin's, excuse me, <clears throat> my cousin's best friend for a long, long time. And they used to beat up on me and, and <laughs> make me tougher. But she was also one of the people that I could call if, like, I had problems or, you know, somebody's messing with me. I'd call my cousin and I'd call her and there's a couple other girls. Matter of fact, there was one time where um, this group of girls, it was one girl I didn't get, me and her didn't get along. This whole group of girls shows up and stands outside my house or across the street, running their mouth all day. So I call up my cousin. She brings this girl and and one other person. And we walk all the way, because that girl had went back to her house. We walk all the way to her house and stand outside. And we're like, all right, now, now it's even. Let's do this. And she wouldn't come outside. So when I say I know this girl, I know her. Okay? But unfortunately, I know her, man. And while we, we've always gotten along, and, and I do have a lot of respect for her, like I said, please don't take this the wrong way. I'm not bashing her. But the truth is, she hasn't always been the nicest person to everyone else. 
I get along with her, but I've, I've seen how she treats other people. And she ain't always been the nicest. Because this girl has always been drop-dead gorgeous. She did a little bit of modeling. She's always had a beautiful face, beautiful body. You know, she was very, very gorgeous. And everybody knew it, and she knew it, and she made sure everybody else knew it. You know what I mean? So, um, and that's only a piece of this. But, but she wasn't always the nicest. So, think about that one really popular girl in school that was drop dead gorgeous that kind of just looked down on everybody and was like you know i'm better than you it's kind of the attitude she had okay so when it comes out that she's going to be on this naked and afraid show the whole town is like oh my god and i ain't gonna lie i was like dude that would be insane if she you know if she goes up there and like actually makes it like that'd be cool as shit like who doesn't want their person from their hometown to to make it but what makes this funny is, like I said, she's always had that I'm better than you, I'm good looking, and, and that's all that matters attitude. And when this comes up, she's like promoting it all over Facebook and our local. This is embarrassing because uh, our, my town's so small that our local bowling alley hosted the premiere of the show. And the night comes, me and my boyfriend, we were talking about like watching it and whatever, and I had to work and. It was a whole thing, but she has the premiere at the bowling alley, and she is promoting it. Y'all watch me on Naked and Afraid. Y'all see this, do this, and I see pictures being posted of her signing people's, like, arms and shit. Like, she's this huge celeb, right? And she's just talking mad shit about, it's so hard, and you gotta be so tough, and, and then, and then it comes on. Hang tight. First of all. Like I said, this girl's always been all about her looks. Just about everybody's seen her uh, stripped down once or twice. Always showing off her body. Badass, you know, look at me. I'm, I'm everything, right? This girl strips down on national television talking about, I ain't got no problem getting naked. And we're like, we, we know. <laughs> and I don't mean no harm, but that's just the truth. So we're like, she strips naked and everybody... Everybody's reaction was, oh, that ain't what we remembered. <laughs> and look, I'm not body shaming her. She's still, she's still damn good looking. I mean, she, like I said, she always has been. She always will be. It is what it is. But it was a little, little funny. Just a little. To, to see somebody who's always been shitty towards people because they didn't have the looks that she had. For her to not have the looks that she used to have it was like it happens to everybody man like my body damn sure don't look like it did back in the day <laughs> so that like i said that was just part of it, but i, I did kind of like crack up a little bit because my boyfriend's like yeah <laughs> and it, yeah anyway so she's again she's playing it up she's at the bowling alley she's signing titties or whatever she's signing and, and she's a celebrity <laughs> and uh you know most of the most okay let first of all most of the people that go on the show are real survivalists they've had some type of training some type of experience some type of something and when i heard she was going on the show i'm like but you don't have any survivalist right like where in our small ass town would you be able to learn these things and and don't get me wrong, I'm sure it can be done. Research can be done. Things can be learned. But this is this is her we're talking about. And she basically just went online and signed up for it. And I don't even know how she got... Whatever. I don't, I don't know how she got on the show. By that some point. Like, around here, the, the best you could do to, to train or get prepared is to go spend the night on the canal trail. Like, on one of those islands and, and try to live... I mean... I don't know, but she, like I said, she played it up. She had pictures of her finding wild mushrooms and all these things, and she knew, she knew so much, and it's, you know, man, while the whole town is watching, this girl makes it to day two, and is taken out for altitude sickness. Now, look, I'm not down in her what she did. Could I have made it two days out there? Hell no. It was freezing cold. There was a hailstorm and it was raining. I would not have made it. I don't like being cold. I don't I don't like being hot neither. I'm a I would not have made it. 
So let me just say, like, she's she's a badass for making it the two days. She she is. But it's just the fact that it was played up so damn much. We all knew she she wasn't like a survivalist, so it was like but, I mean, we were all, like, <laughs> we were all rooting for her. You know, it, it's true. We wanted to see one of our hometown people make that shit. That would have been awesome. But she shouldn't have played it up so much. And it was just kind of like, and this is the reason why I couldn't help myself but to talk about it. And like I said, I'm kind of poking fun at it, but I'm kind of not. <sighs> it was just like, like I said, you know that one popular person, male or female. That one popular person that just downed everybody else because they didn't look as good as them or they weren't as athletic. They just weren't as talented. Whatever. It's like having that one person from your high school that just treated everybody like dog shit. Get up there and, and then kind of crash and burn in front of everybody. And I know that's bad to say. I know it's bad to say. I feel like a horrible person for saying it. But at the same time, there's a lesson to be learned here. Don't treat people like shit. Because eventually, maybe you'll end up on Naked and Afraid and we'll all laugh at you. <laughs> Alright, that's, that's, that's enough of me being mean today. That's what happened. She didn't make it, but today too. They did take her out. Could she have made it longer? Um, I don't know. I mean, I don't know. You didn't, No one knows. That show is hella, like, as far as TV shows go, that is probably, like, one of the most real, like, as real as it can get. Um... <laughs> And like I said, um, yes, I'm laughing. Yes, I think it's a little funny that she played it up so much. She was under-trained, that she, she's so big on how great her looks are, and then she was just like an average woman naked. You know, look, it's, it's kind of funny, but at the end of the day, like, you know, it is what it is. I, I hate she didn't make it. She's still a badass for trying, and that's, that's it. But I wanted to share it with you guys, because I figured, why not? It's, it's a little funny. It's just a, a little funny. All right. Maybe it's only funny to me and y'all are going to be like, you're a terrible person. And if so, just tell me and I'll, I'll take the video down. I'm sorry. But I mean, how many times do you, do you personally know someone who ends up on a TV show? And if you do, if any of you do, share that story with me. I would love to hear it with you. Uh, you can send me a video in my email or leave a comment just, just let me know you have you known somebody go on one of these reality shows what kind was it did they make it through a challenge um whatever just let me know i think it's kind of cool anyway i'm gonna get back in there with my baby i love you guys and i will see you in the next one bye